Dragons play a significant role in Greek mythology One, though the Greek dragon often differs from the modern Western conception of a dragon it is both the etymological origin of the modern term and the source of many surviving Indo-European myths and legends about dragons. The word dragon derives from the Greek delta rho alpha kappa omega nu dragon and its Latin cognate draco. Ancient Greeks applied the term to large, constricting snakes to the Greek dragon was far more associated with poisonous spit or breath than the modern Western dragon though fiery breath is still attested in a few myths. There is also the Dracaena, the specifically female form or she-dragon. The Dracaena is occasionally treated differently from the more common masculine or gender-neutral dragon often surviving by mating with a hero or being the ancestress of an important lineage 3. Daniel Ogden speaks of three ways to explain the origins of Greek dragon myths as vertical evolution from reconstructed proto-Indo-European mythology, as horizontal adaptation from ancient Near Eastern mythology or as sitting within the cloud of international folktale. Regarding theories of horizontal transmission Ogden argues that they carry an unspoken assumption that prior to such a transfer the Greeks' own myth world was a tabula rasa which he calls absurd only Typhon's near eastern origins are in his view plausible. Typhon was the fearsome monster of Greek mythology. Typhon was the last son of Gaia. He is usually envisioned as humanoid from the waist up, serpentine below almost the size of a mountain. With his mate Echidna he would father many monsters. Later he would attempt to overthrow Zeus for the title of ruler of the cosmos. Zeus would hurl an enormous rock on him to beat him. Typhon is a reptilian dragon with legs and wings and he breathes fire from his mouth and eyes. The Don was the serpent-like dragon dragon a word more commonly used that twined round the tree in the garden of the Hesperides and guarded the golden apples. Le Don was also said to have as many as 100 heads. He was overcome and possibly slain by Heracles. After a few years the Argonauts passed by the same spot on their siege Donic return journey from Colchis at the opposite end of the world and heard the lament of Shining Edgar one of the Hesperides, and viewed the still twitching Le Don Argonautica, Book 4. The creature is associated with the constellation Draco. Le Don was given several parentages, each of which placed him at an archaic level in Greek myth. The offspring of Ceto joined in love with Forces Hesiod, the Ogony 333, or of Typhon, who was himself serpent like from the waist down, and Echidna Bibliof 2.113 Hyginus preface to Fabuli, or of Gaia herself, or in her Olympian manifestation Hera. The dragon which guarded the golden apples was the brother of the Nemean lion asserted Ptolemy Hephaestion recorded in his new history v. Lost, but epitomized in Photius. Miriabiblion 190. The learning Hydra was a dragon-like water serpent with fatally venomous breath, blood and fangs, a daughter of Typhon and Echidna. The creature was said to have anywhere between 5 and 100 heads, although most sources put the number somewhere between seven and nine. For each head cut off, one or two more grew back in its place. It had an immortal head which would remain alive after it was cut off. Some accounts claim that the immortal head was made of gold. It lived in a swamp near Lerna and frequently terrorized the townsfolk until it was slain by Heracles, who cut the heads off with the help of his nephew Iolus, who then singed the oozing stump with a blazing firebrand to prevent any new heads from growing as the second of his twelve labors. Hera sent a giant crab to distract Heracles, but he simply crushed it under his foot. Hera then placed it in the heavens as the constellation Cancer. After slaying the serpent Heracles, buried the immortal head under a rock and dipped his arrows in the creature's blood to make them fatal to his enemies. In one version the poisoned arrows would eventually prove to be the undoing of his centaur tutor Chiron, who was placed in the heavens as the constellation Centaurus. In another version he would never be able to use these arrows, because of his fear of the poison spreading through the land and poisoning the water and crops.